Hello, welcome to Scratch 3 Printing. In this video, I'm going to be making a film extractor. Let's scratch to this project. Lately, I've been using soldering more and more, and the film is like very bad when you touch the soldering iron with the soldering thingy. I forgot what they call. But when you solder something, right, it releases this film smoke that is very bad. And yes, of course, I know I can just buy one from Amazon and get it ready. But hey, what's the point of having 3D printers when you don't use them, right? So I decided to make my own film extractor box right here. Um, it's very simple. It just consists of a box, a fan, a motor, a speed controller, and my own DIY battery. This was the first model that I made because I don't know why. I just want to make it big and make it very strong. But apparently this motor kind of suck. It was rated for six voltage, right? So I made a 2S battery in here. I also have this voltage controller here where you can turn and lower the voltage. I lower it to 6 voltage and the motor is still frying. So I decided to make a smaller version and this one is very cute in my opinion. But hey, here's how it works. Um, I have everything set up already, but I have not put the heat insert or the magnets. That's what I'm going to be doing in this video. And this is like an on and off feature. I also made a small cutout so you can see when it's on, you can see the red light off on so you can definitely see these thingy stringy is blowing a little bit so it's not the most efficient fan there but hey it's my first time and i feel like this fan is pretty good i tried a couple models of the fan and i found this one to be the best i made four models different kind of model fan um this is a six blade one and it's not the best it's like very loud and i make this one but it does not pull in any air at all and i make this big one it does but I don't know, it's not as strong as the other one. And this one is a little bit bigger, but I don't know. Still not as strong as the one that I have in here. I don't know why. This is a 15 degree angle and just like a five millimeter thick blade and it's very good. But enough with that, I'm just gonna assemble everything and then I'll put it to the test. I also got these um, carbon deposit filter here too. So I'm gonna be putting this on here. I cut it a little bit too short, but I think it's totally fine. Okay, I just took everything apart and I'm gonna show you the assembly here. So this is the case that I made. And as you can see here, it's very complicated, right? And kind of stringy and it's very bad because this filament has been sitting out here for like almost a year now and it has not been dry. It's very stringy, it's very bad, but look at this. This box, I put so much effort and thoughts into it. Um, this is a dovetail joint, dovetail joint. And this is where my speed controller is gonna sit. And all of this, guess what? I use basically no support. The only support I use is right here because that's 90 degree angle and I cannot do anything. It's gonna be like way over here, so that does not work. But everything else is at an angle like this and there's no support involved, which is crazy. And here's my battery holder. It has a dovetail joint. The only support is right here and it fits my battery perfectly here. This is a 1S battery, and this is a JST-SM um, connector. So I put it in here, and I designed this to use magnet for this, and here's the cover, so it goes on top. It does have a small cutout right here, so that it will fit in here very nicely without moving anywhere. I bought these magnets a long time ago, and I have not used them yet, so today I finally see a purpose to use them. Um, I'm going to put them in here. I'm not going to use any super glue because I made this so that it fits really nicely. All you have to do is just hit it. And it goes in there. I'm going to repeat this for all of them. I got all four of them in there. In order to make this stickable here, you might think that, oh, okay, so that's where it sticks. I'm going to do it like that. But no, you do it opposite. So it sticks like that. You're supposed to put the magnet in like this from the other side. So flip it around and then put in the magnet so that it's opposite and it sits in there apparently um i think i made this a little bit too thin it's only like 0.5 millimeter thick so huh, that's why the magnet is like out i gotta be a little bit more careful okay so i didn't realize it was this thin and i screwed up on the first one but i got all the other three it's very nice and it's just gonna sit and like that, look at that. There we go, it's a perfect fit, and this is never gonna come off. And now I'm gonna be putting the battery in here, and as you can see, it's, where do I even put this? Well, it goes right here. When I was doing this, I modeled it a little bit too small, so I gotta make some cutout right here. As you can see, there's like a cutout at the bottom there, and now that I made the cutout, it goes in very perfectly. It sits in there so nicely, so tightly that 
is an art of work. And right here is my motor connector. I made these cutouts so that it can expand a little bit. And here's my motor. I'm gonna be soldering these two wire in there. I'm um, just connect them like this, just to test, making sure that it's straight. And all I need to do is just push it in, all the way in, making sure that it's in. I'm gonna use my bearings measure right here. Make sure that you're not hitting the prongs right here. It's gonna ruin it. Kind of smash it. Make sure that it's flat. It sits all the way in there. For the hole right here, there's supposed to be four hole right here. Um, this is the original design. It's supposed to be four hole right there. And I have gonna have this thing plug in there. But I remodeled this and I don't know for some reason in Fusion 360, it fills in the hole for me. So I forgot to check and I just printed out. And also one more thing is that I make this tolerance a little bit too big. So I put some blue tape here and you know it works perfect now. Like that for the speed controller, it's gonna go up here. Like I said, there are these four holes so that I can screw in my um, speed controller so that it sticks and does not move. But since um, I print like this, right, it's totally fine as well. I can just put in the speed controller in right there, and in the four corner it's supposed to be screw, but I can't. It's way too small. Um, I don't want to make the cutout anymore, and it's totally fine. It also comes with a nut right here, so I can just put it in here and just screw this in. And now that that is screwed in, it's not going to go anywhere. It also comes with this cap, so I can just put the cap in, like that. Yeah, look at that. It has on off feature, speed controller, which is exactly what I wanted. It's a little bit of attachment, what I made for my wires right here. So that I can put my wire right here. And when the fan spin over here, it does not hit the wire just like that. The two wires are in there, so it's like more secure. And one more thing, um, the speed controller is just use screw and wires right there. There's screw up there, so you put the wires in there and you just screw it in so that it's locked in place. And now all I have to do is just connect the battery to the speed controller, just like that. And put it here, maybe tape it here so that it does not go anywhere. And when I turn this, like that, the motor spins, like that. Now, oh yeah, look at that. Full throttle! I do feel a little bit of wind back here, which is nice. There's also this cover right here, which also uses magnet. Um, I forgot to make these hole bigger because originally it was designed for three piece. So the main body here, a cover, and then this cover will go on the very top. But that's like way too much work. So I decided just to make two covers and I forgot to make this hole a little bit bigger. It's supposed to be for heat insert. The original plan was to use heat insert, right? And then screw it and the two piece together. And then the magnet is gonna attach like that. But now that I changed my design, it's a little bit different now. I guess I'll make these holes a little bit bigger. Okay, well, I guess those two plans have failed. Just recently bought these magnets. It's like very small, teeny tiny magnets to like a bigger version of magnets. So I guess I'll find one of these and see if it will fit in here. Apparently none of these magnets fit, so... <laughs> I'll use my soldering tool right here. It's like heat insert, but this is magnet insert. Okay, maybe that's not the best idea ever. I don't know if that's gonna ruin the magnet. Does heat ruin magnets? It does seem a little bit weaker now. I think it neutralized it because it can attach to both sides now. What? That's crazy. I never know that. That is very interesting. Anybody it's like a magnet master out there, if you heat the magnet, right, it neutralizes and it can be attached to both sides, right? There we go. I finally got all the magnets in there and this will just sit on top like that. Not the best way to do it because um, I feel like <laughs> uh, I, sh I should have remodeled these to make the hole bigger. So I could put everything in there and put the magnet attachment back here like that. The back plate here attaches so much better. <laughs> the front plate here, um, I don't know, I kind of killed the magnet a little bit. Okay, it's time to test right now. So, got some soldering wires and got my soldering tool. And if I 
hit the soldering here, it's gonna bring smoke. Like you guys see smokes? Smokes right there. Now I'm gonna turn on the fan. Full blast. Oh, <gasps> look at that. Hey, it's going in there. That is so cool. But it's only three voltage, so it's not that strong. If I do a little bit further here, it still goes in there. Whoa, that is so cool. We you gotta do it very close though. I can still smell the fume a little bit, but this is sucking all the smoke, which is nice. Exactly what I wanted. Look at this carbon filter. You see the white thing? I think that's the bad fume that is sucking it in. I got it working, let's go. It's not the best, but it's still working. I'm gonna improve this in the future. I made a mini film extractor fan that runs on an 18650 battery. I don't want like those power cord, just like very messy and you know, takes a lot of space. With the battery, it just be in this small box with this big controller right here. I'll definitely improve this. Keep playing with the fan to make a very strong fan that can pull in lots and lots of air. But overall, I really love my design right here. It's fully modular. But that'll be it for this video. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments down below. And if you also have any ideas of how to improve this or fan design, definitely let me know in the comments down below. Leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel because more amazing videos like this is coming. And if you haven't yet become a member of the YouTube channel, it helps me tremendously with projects like these. Thank you so much for watching and as always, keep on 3D printing.